now. As Mongol just mentioned you. Again, what uh, what is it about? What did he say? Something good or something uh, even better? He was talking about drama creating value for streamers. Some do get. Some get negative value. You. You know, like all the drama that I got, I didn't even ask for it. No. But yeah, it's true. I think Asmon Gold is a chill guy, honestly. That's what I think. Just a shame he's a bit... taken hostage by his following and that the internet is changing. I bet he... I bet he really goes like... Fuck this political correct climate, for sure. And I think once you get too deep into that, I think you really start losing yourself a bit as well. I think we would have a good, uh, good, good relationship if we would know each other IRL. Because in front of the stream and such, he, can, he cannot say good stuff about me. Because you get, like, he, gets, he would get bashed. But in the past, he was really much stronger with his opinions. He was like, don't give a shit about what other people say, but the internet has become too volatile. And um, I don't even blame him, but you can't, you can't even say anything good about Thien anymore. No. Yeah, I know, I know. He wasn't. Yeah, I know. He didn't want to. No, like as Mongol doesn't want to bash me. No, I mean, I think he really supports what I do. Actually, they have an event next month, right? Uh, around my birthday, actually. They're going to have a big event and they said that, you know, for trailers, we can, uh, we actually applied our game, Clash of Streamers. I wonder if they're going to select it. I really wonder if they're going to show it. I think you burning your reputation is one of the biggest mistakes you made in your career. Hmm. Some get cancelled, some become president. Maybe I should run. President of Europe. Maybe that works better. Ah, nobody's streaming today? Okay, that's good to know. I was about to call it a day. I've been following you for a long time and it's sad. I know you have come from a good place and are doing things with the right intention, but the path to good is filled with kakaroch. People just can't see past the persona. Let me tell you something. Info. Um, this is not just to you. This is just to general. Like, Athene was doomed to crash and burn. Because the core content of Athene was not okay anymore. You have quite some uh, content creators, not just me, but also others that just ran out of steam because the climate doesn't allow them to make content anymore. Athene was one of the most controversial, I was one of the most controversial YouTubers in the world. Um, and that was also what generated the traffic. But because of the political cor correct climate, you get cancelled for that shit. So you cannot do that anymore. So like the existential uh, threat 
around the brand of Athene was predetermined with the birth of Athene. It was over anyway. Because if you take away all the controversy out of the Athene brand, there's nothing left. Of course, you can say like, oh yeah, you can do, you should have just played video games and be a nice gamer, or like whatever. But the thing is though, like that's not a thing. Um, I could have just played game it's, and, and just be, you know, washed up in that regards and, and just see my, see my community, you know, get smaller and smaller and jump on a, on a game when it's more popular, like Diablo or World of Warcraft Classic or whatever, and get some bumps. But then what? What kind of a life would I live? Wake up and just, you know, hope, play some games and, and hope that I stay relevant? It's depressing. Now I actually have a place where changing, we're changing people's lives. We have a game that is really successful and, and, and we're only getting started. Like... I really think when people use the intersubjective lens to judge what I do, it's very fleety. Like in a year or two, if things are much bigger, if I'm a lot more infamous or famous or whatever you want to call it, like these things change. There is no really core, there's no backbone to it. That's why I don't care what the public opinion thinks about me. The public opinion does not define reality. And a lot of people get these confused. If I have a really successful game, the entire world can hate me. Look at Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. Everybody can shit them out. It doesn't matter. They keep trucking. I want real impact in the world. I don't want to be, you know, lingering and hanging on what other people think about me. That's a depressing path. And the thing is like, when you say like, yeah, but you really ruined it, you burned it away. It's not true. It's like you don't have under control what people think of you. And if you think that, you, you, you don't have experience in, in, as an influencer. You can literally lose all your following for some random shit taken out of context. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's not nice to have your entire relevance, your entire career, your entire impact be defined by some random moderator that, uh, that, that judges what you do on the platform. So yeah, I don't want to. I, I don't want to make that very clear, because a lot of people don't understand it. They just look at like, yeah, but Athene, Athene, like you, you burnt your reputation, like literally ninety nine percent, right? Ninety nine percent of all the hate that Athene has is built on fabricated lies. I mean, I don't know if people know, like, I, I, I have literally streamers saying that I scammed charity. Even though charity came out saying that's not the case. A fraud. It's like, what do you do about that? You think that I can, take, that I can change the public perception? Athene was dead the moment that, you know, I started shifting away from playing WoW because WoW was dying game. My career my persona was very much intertwined with, with, with World of Warcraft. And then with League, I did, had some success with Diablo, but never like World of Warcraft. And it's just like you try to stay relevant by playing games, but if, 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 your, if your persona, your shtick is, uh, is to really, you know, you're, you're, you're a programmer and you shit on noobs, like it doesn't work anymore because you're an asshole. So what do I become, a nice Athene? giving some nice tips and nah man nah people people want to want to to see me shit on noobs and that doesn't work anymore and that's the truth it's that simple I, i'm just saying you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain in a sense that's 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 how it is like athene is one of the most as crazy as it sounds i really think i'm one of the most hated gaming personas in the world from all gamers, who do you hate the most? I think I, I think I, I, I score at the top. And look at my track record. The difference is insane. 
it's just it's just insane that's not true phantom lord yeah phantom lord probably gets number one but i'm top three i think i really think if you if you have a list I literally even think if you have a list of five or ten most controversial gamers and Athene is one of them, I really think I'd be at the top. I really think, I think I'd actually beat Phantom Lord. As crazy as it sounds. Because they would say like, but that's the guy that has a cult. Yeah, well, Phantom Lord, he scammed his viewers, but Athene, he scammed his viewers and he's running a cult. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey! It's like, it doesn't matter. What about Ice Poseidon? I really think I'd be more, I'd be higher ranked than Ice Poseidon. And like, I really think so. Than a Phantom Lord and Ice Poseidon. I think I'd actually score higher. Because people legitimately think I'm some crazy cult leader. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Ice Poseidon actually rug pulled. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. People think I rug pulled. If you go to random people and you ask, like, is a Tina scammer? They go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He scammed people with crypto and he's also running a cult. He's also an abuser, right? Man, like, if you have check marks, right, of, like, really bad shit, I think I, I check most of them. Even though it's just not true. My mom is watching. I love my mommy. Hello, mommy. Did anything of what happened affected you at some level? Well, yeah, of course, like when I got banned on Twitch, it was, it was really hard. Actually, the ban on Twitch was not just what was, well, yeah. The Twitch ban really fucked with me. It was so unfair. And I even talked to Twitch and they fucking knew it. That's, that's the craziest part. They fucking knew it wasn't fair, but they don't care. It was really shit. And I also knew that my viewers, my fans would not reverse it. I knew it. There was almost no outcry. Nobody gave a shit. If I would have gotten banned in my prime on YouTube, it would have caused a shitstorm. But with all cancel culture, it's just like, whatever, another loser bites the dust, who cares? Oh yeah, either way. But with all this controversy and shit, like, does it affect me? It's just like, when I say it affects me, it's not, it doesn't make, like, it's just, it makes me look at things differently, but does it affect me emotionally or whatever? Like, does it change the way I... The, the way I, 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 I see the world, no. I always want to just do the right thing. The stuff with Twitch is just a new reality and I need to adapt and make sure that I'm very careful and that's all. Like the ban on Twitch is the reason why we also have all this media integration in the game. And honestly, if the game really becomes big and it will become big, I won't need Twitch and YouTube anymore. I mean, it's quite crazy to be able to have your own platform. To be independent, it's it's really crazy. Like normally when you get when 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 you're big, right? When you're let's say Alex John or even Trump, it doesn't matter. When you get cancelled, you're done. To be able to really rise from the ashes and make your own platform and actually succeed at it and become independent, that's fucking some that's some Athene level shit. That's really some Athene level shit. I'll be one of the biggest uh influencers. I hate the word, but whatever. Without having a platform. Um, without, without being on a platform. Just by having my own platform. So, yeah.
Asin, do you think things would change if you literally showed the game is impacting the world of charity? The game could literally end world poverty today and people would just still shit on me. They would just throw conspiracy theories or whatever. Yes, Flexicon is, is getting it right. He hits the nail on the head. Like people think they miss the Athene wins character, but actually what they really miss is the golden days of WoW. It's truly the case. We age, we get older, we have nostalgia, we look back, we look at the experience of WoW and looking at the WoW videos of Athene, and I did a really good job, and it's really a great time, and it's never coming back. So I'm just a, I'm just a, 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 an ugly remembrance, remembrance of the good old days that will never come back. Well, yeah, that's really like you, you shit on that. I'm the, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm pretty much what reminds people of their really great ex relationship that basically dumped them. You don't want to be reminded of that. People just see me, they punch me in the face. They go like, fuck you, Athene. Fuck you. It's not my, it's, it's not because of me. Either way, going to be calling it a day, guys.